Welcome back to the lab, folks. So what I have here today is something I bought off eBay, and it was listed as not working for partial repair. So I wanted one of these way, way back when I was a youngster. I'm a, a bit of a musician. I play trombone. And musicians generally need these things for practice. So let me get this out of the packaging here. Now what this is, is a Heathkit TD17 solid state metronome and they're supposed to uh, supposed to be a great little thing so when i saw one come up on ebay i i had to get it so let's uh let's tear into it and see what we need to do here okay Oh, that doesn't look good. That's not supposed to be like this. The way this is supposed to be, it's supposed to have a big long screw on it and it's used to um, change the timber, change the, the way it sounds. Uh, batteries go on there. There's the circuit board. Let's see if we can tell right away why it's not working. Well, that could be it but well, definitely would be it and i don't see anything else it's such a simple circuit it's a it's just a, a unijunction transistor a little coil a couple of variable resistors these at the the upper and lower frequencies this is your timing device and uh, this is the coil the, the actuator itself and this potentiometer here just Changes the speed, turns it on and off, and changes the speed. All right. Um, well, let's see. Let's see. We could hook up, hook up power to it, and push this down in here and solder it up, and see if that works. So let me just solder this here. I try some fresh shoulder on there. It's one of those things where you need three hands. Okay, it seems to be connected on there enough. Let me get some voltage on here. All right, since it takes two nine volt batteries, I'm gonna assume 18 volts would be good for it. Uh, put the schematic up there. It's pretty simple. Oh, this is already marked. Minus and plus. And let's put the power on it. Okay, and then we'll turn it on. Nothing. Nada. Well, maybe that capacitor hadn't fallen out. Maybe it was taken out. I don't know. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take that capacitor out and I'll measure it in one of my component testers here and see what we come up with. Only supposed to be 22 UF, but it's coming up as 46.69, and that ESR is ridiculous. Now I'm going to try and replace this capacitor and see if we get any luck with that. Okay, I don't have a 25 UF capacitor rated at uh, over 20 volts, so but I do have these. There's two 47 UF capacitors here, so I put these in series. I should get uh, like a 23 UF, so that should be close enough for testing purposes. And if that fixes, I'll just order the correct capacitor. But just let me tag these on there and see if that gets it working. Okay, let's uh, turn the power supply back on and we'll turn this on. Hope for the best. 
There we go. Perfect. Freaking works. Okay, so what I gotta do is order in a new capacitor and we'll get that done. And then I'll have myself a nice antique. I wonder what that sounds like in the box. Oh yeah, that, that's a nice good sound, yeah. Probably even better if it's wedged in tight like that. Yeah. Okay, folks, that's all I had for you today. We had a little bit of success today. That's great. And um, yeah, you probably don't want to see the final repair of this. But uh, let me know if you want to see some more repairs. I know I've tried those in the past and they don't always go over well for some strange reason. But I do, I am working on another Heath kit thing as well, but I'm almost done with that. So anyway, catch you in the next video.